When a great tree falls and people are near Does it make a noise if no one can hear? And which came first, the head or the egg? This impractical question we ask and then beg Some wise men say it's beyond their ken But did anyone ever ask the hen? All right, so that is to be answered in our next issue, another anonymous poem. Um, and this one uses A minor, which we have talked about before on rain, second finger, second fret on the fourth string, and then we're pairing it with a new chord. We've got our E7 chord, and I love the E7 chord. It's, I think it's a really easy chord to feel. As long as, once again, we're orienting our fingers sort of pointed slanted down the fretboard you just roll them up first finger first fret on the fourth second finger second fret on the third and third finger second fret on the first you'll notice that this has a lot in common with the g7 chord that we already learned you got this fingers uh, two and three in the same spot as you have on a g7 chord it's also the same position as you have them on a g6 chord right okay and so we've got G7, we've got G, I mean, G, E7, G7, and G6. All those chords have these two fingers in this position on the second fret of strings one and three. Okay? Um, now we're pairing this E7 chord, though, with the A minor chord. So that means that no chords stay... I mean, no fingers stay on the fretboard when you're making the transition, right? Now, the second finger only has to go back and forth between um, the fourth and the third string, okay? So it's not a far leap or anything. And that sort of acts as a half anchor for us, right? But once we get this transition down between these, uh, this is a fairly easy song to learn, right? Now, once again, I'm using the um, uh, Chattanooga. No, no, no. I'm sorry, the chink strumming right here, okay? When the great tree falls and people aren't near. Now you don't have to do that. You could do a Chattanooga strum. When a great tree falls and people are near, does it make a noise if no one can hear? And which came first, the head or the egg? Right, okay, and so that works just fine. Um, I personally like the chink strum, so I think it's worth uh, we, we talked about it in a previous video, but I think it's worth practicing to getting it down. Um, so let's do it one more time. So here you go. One, two. When a great tree falls and people are near, does it make a noise if no one can hear? And which came first, the hen or the egg? This impractical question we ask and then beg. Some wise men say it's beyond their ken. But did anyone ever ask the hen? Right? To be answered in our next issue. With the implication that, let's go ask the hen. Okay? Silliness, yes. Fun, yes. Okay. Number 16, to be answered in our next issue. Um... We will see you next time.